This is called Three Parallel Lines. It is an excerpt from a Nichan story from their forum, Occult. Last night I was out drinking. By the time I arrived home it was very late and my family were all asleep. It was past one in the morning so that was to be expected, but something was a bit off. For one thing, the lights and the stove, that means the heater of the house, were both on, and even the TV was on, and its volume was very, very loud. Perhaps the light and the stove were left on out of consideration for me, but it was a little strange that the TV was on and so loud. What was more was everyone was sleeping on the floor in the sitting room. My parents sometimes sleep in the sitting room, but my little brother thinks he is all grown up now, so he insists on sleeping in his own room. Today, he was also sleeping in the sitting room. Moreover, the three of them were sleeping neatly in three parallel lines. When I saw that, I couldn't help but feel a little bit creeped out. Before something strange happens, don't you get sort of a uh, premonition? Those premonitions always turn out to be right. It's weird, don't you think? To start with, I changed into my night clothes and I went to the bathroom. While I was in the bathroom, I began to calm down a little bit. But the next moment, I felt goosebumps break out on my skin. It was because all the lights in the house and the TV suddenly got turned off. Even the stove turned itself off too. For a moment, I thought maybe it was just a blackout. But the washlet was still working, so something was strange. When I finished, I crept out of the toilet and felt my way back to the pitch dark sitting room. I turned the lights on. Then, again, I noticed an abnormality. The sitting room was now empty. The mattresses that were on the floor had been put away. Up to this point, nothing extraordinary had happened, but <sighs> agitation began building up on me again, perhaps out of uneasiness and fear. That's when the really scary part came. Ah! All of a sudden, I heard my little brother scream. I rushed into his bedroom and he was shaking violently underneath his duvet. I couldn't see him, but there was an unbelievable sight next to him. A transparent image of my family, sleeping side by side in three parallel lines, floating in midair. When I looked hard, I realized they were all dead. Blood oozed and gushed from their mouth, their faces frozen in masks of terror. I screamed too. I mean, I had just seen a similar image in the sitting room, but when I saw them in there, they weren't dead bodies. By the time I covered my face and looked up again, the image vanished. I shook the duvet my brother had been under. He was sleeping and maybe not making a single sound, and I said, Hey, it's okay, he's gone, let's go, let's get out of here. When I pulled off the duvet, you wouldn't believe it. My brother had never been there. I felt cold all over. I went back to the sitting room right away, and I saw three of them lying down, side by side, in three parallel lines. Fearfully, I touched their hands. They were all living humans. What had I just seen? Too many things had happened to simply dismiss it as a hallucination. In the end, I couldn't bear to fear anymore. I lay myself next to all three of them and went to sleep. Fortunately, I didn't have any nightmares. But I fear that from now on, I will not be staying out late. It's Sunday today. I want to make sure I get rid of this fear before the day is over.